more we look at the past, the more we find illumination on the present. In 1980, South Africa stands a divided country. Racism has been institutionalised in the form of apartheid. Patrick Chimuso, who once led a comfortable life for a black man in South Africa, now stands accused of terrorism. He comes face to face with Colonel Nick Voss of the infamous police security branch. Based on the real life story of Patrick Chimuso, Catch a Fire follows one man's transformation from complacent citizen to ANC freedom fighter and eventually a man of peace. Where do you get the money for this nice car and that nice camera? No boss, I work, I have a job. I'm a foreman boss. I work at Secunda. It's all the searching. Hey, hey, how are you still, man? Let's help me, huh? Hey, hey, come back. Down! Down! This is a story about someone who is pushed so far down that the only way they can remain human is to push back. My children, when they speak of their father, they will say he was a man who stood up for what was right. A man who said, I must do something now. Sean Slovo, the screenwriter of Catch a Fire, um, <coughs> had to endure sitting for two weeks at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission hearings in South Africa, where the two special branch police officers who were responsible for the assassination of her mother, Rufer, sat for two weeks as they asked for amnesty, as they, made, as they admitted that they had plotted cold-heartedly to kill her mother. She sat there facing these men, trying not to look them in the eye, but trying to understand them. In many ways, the portrait of Nick Voss is her attempt to understand the people that killed her mum. 25 million blacks, 3 million white people. We're the ones under attack. Where were you that night, Patrick? I told you a hundred times, I am not a terrorist. We've seen many portraits of the one-dimensional racist Africana cop in other movies, television shows. It's a cliche. I think we were all interested in investigating how basically good people could, for reasons that they thought were absolutely right, do really bad things to other human beings. Um, that's interesting. How could we be that character is the question I think that is worth exploring. Maybe I can help you, Precious. Use my influence. Find you somewhere better to live. When you hear from Patrick, you let me know. I think that everything that happens in our lives, even the most intimate moments, in some ways are in reaction or in reflection to the wider political t uh, movements that surround us. Every action, in a way, is political. They have killed my friend, tortured my wife for nothing. Yes, I want to go on. I have always been fascinated by apartheid South Africa. About, I've been fascinated by the modern miracle of South Africa, of the democracy that they've established there. Um, I thought that if I was fascinated, then my enthusiasm to recreate that may connect with audiences. Thank you.